Hey guys, I'm almost done with the big update uh, of Spetscult. This is really a big update with a lot of new tools and I'm pretty exhausted. Um, I will not make a full video about everything. I'll do this later when it will be released and uh, you will see uh, just some uh, new settings, new tools, etc. So right now, as you can see, I added your mesh because the mesh is faster than in topo. That's why it is as default and uh, every, t every tool work with both. Uh, it's better to use the raw mesh, like I said, because it's faster. And after, when you are finished to create the form of your object, you can use the topo and add some details because the topo is perfect for details uh, and raw mesh not. And on the tools, uh, you have the basic tools, uh, the primitives with the basic settings, the mouse, origin, etc. Just like that. So I can create this. I can combine uh, metaballs like that. Hop etc. And if I select everything, I can press Ctrl R and that will uh, merge everything with the Remesh tool. And as you can see, let's hide the wireframe. I have something nice. If I press Ctrl R, that will smooth again, 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 again. Just like that. I can, for example, place the cursor, uh, add this one, and why not make a difference? Like that. That will work too. Okay, so uh, that work with parent, mirror, cursor rotations. If I place, let's see, the cursor here, I will add this object and that will uh, work with the cursor rotation. Let's see, I want to add this and this one. Let's press Ctrl R and that's it. Up, up. Once again, sometimes you will have some part to fix, but uh, as you can see, this is clean. Okay, uh, I can come here, I can do this. Make this, make this, up, and uh, press Ctrl R, bam, like that. Okay, so that's it for the primitives uh, and the options, and uh, all the tools will use uh, this as base, uh, mouth, origin, etc. Uh, and some will use this one to smooth the object, the result. Uh, I forgot to show you. Uh, if I press Ctrl R, that will, uh, bam, let's come back. Uh, update the object like that and with the smooth that will smooth the object okay so this is uh, really important to to know if i press shift r i will have this i will be able to decrease increase the value like that uh, let's uh, apply everything to have something perfect so shift r will give you this result bam and this result, bam. And the basic tool doesn't do this, but uh, I think it's better to have this possibility. Same for the control R, you can select several objects and press control R like that. And again and again and again to, to smooth everything. And you will have something pretty nice. And that works also. Let's move this one, uh, maybe let's go here. Let's move this, let's see here. Press Ctrl A, apply, and that work with, uh, let's see, select this and this, the active object is this one, with the symmetrize, and that will uh, combine everything and make the symmetrize, like that. Okay, yep. You will have also the asset library with, uh, for example, some assets I added. Uh, you will be able to uh, connect it to the asset management to add uh, Asset from the asset management. So if you have an object, you can save it to the asset management and have it directly in Speedsculpt. So this is uh, pretty nice. You can, let's see, I will make origin, import some assets and start sculpting. Uh, if you want to add, let's see, uh, an hair, you will choose the cursor and you will import it like that, etc. etc. After, if you want, you can combine them and you will have your result and maybe the value was too small and that's it so let's decrease up shift r up like that like that so as you can see this shift r is really 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 useful so let's press shift c and that's it for the asset library you have the draw mesh this one is also really nice and uh, you can draw uh, some part and validate in the tree create faces like that. Uh, let's place the cursor here and let's start drawing again. Let's make this, this and validate. And as you can see, this is nice. You can uh, place your cursor, draw, 
like that up and validate so you can also draw on the surface let's make this like that and validate okay so this is a really 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 nice tool this one will change the size of the uh, result so let's uh, choose cursor let's draw like that and validate and boom you created this okay so this is uh, like i said pretty uh, pretty nice i really like this tool it's uh, as simple as that but uh, really really powerful let's press shift c uh, you have the uh, creator cut tool this one is also a big one so you can for example uh, create uh, some uh, form like this one okay uh, i will uh, increase up this one bam and uh, i can make this up let's scale it i need to select it press ctrl r to flip everything you can cut it if you want like that you can make an onion let's see uh, i will press shift c to place my cursor correctly and make an onion let's see with this bam and just like that i created this let's uh, update this to uh, three let's go inside view and uh, let's make an union with uh, let's see this up like that okay you can also make union with uh, some part like that you can press ctrl to place it on the surface you can after make a symmetrize if you want uh, you can uh, place some other object like i said uh, like this boom etc etc you can disable this this move if you want you can also hop là, come here you can also uh, create some objects so let's press shift c to place my cursor and let's create this one up let's make this up like that and validate and you created this okay this is as simple as that so you can create you can make a difference you can make a robot with all of this uh, you have some information again you can add a skin tool so like that it was on the cursor so the result is normal you can move the skin tool press ctrl a and let's make something up like that press ctrl and rmb up etc 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 so this is the basic tool but i added another one uh, let's place the cursor here let's go in, in top view and the draw skin this one is a little faster just do this like that and press ctrl a and uh, yes keep it like that and make an onion and that's it uh, you have the light, uh, this is the light, the, sur the, sur the curve that will not change. Uh, the draw surface to uh, create surfaces. So let's draw a surface, let's see here, and validate. Oula, no. <laughs> and add the surface, my bad, my the habit. So you can play with the thickness, and after you can press Ctrl R, like that. This is another tool. You can obviously uh, create uh, surfaces. Uh, let's see like that uh, no. this one needs to be it's not a model this one so it needs to be like that and once you are okay you can press ctrl r and that's it you created this uh, you have the lattice to edit your object add lattice up 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 etc etc you can apply the lattice uh, and you have the uh, symmetrize, mask operation, quick pause, etc., etc. So the new tools are the asset library, and the draw mesh, create uh, orchid tools, uh, draw skin, and I edited all the other tools to make it to make them work uh, correctly with everything like that and uh, fluently to do whatever you want. So that's it. Uh, as you can see, I'm pretty exhausted. <laughs> I will go to my bed and uh, I will continue tomorrow to fix everything. And after that, I will be able to update it on uh, Gumroad and the uh, uh, Blender Market. And that's it. I hope you will like this new uh, version of Speedsculpt because it was a lot. It is a lot of work and I'm dead. <laughs> too exhausted. Bye bye.